Hey guys, Job is 34 back again, and what better figure to show than uh, to celebrate the holidays, which unfortunately has come to an end, and life is going back to normal as we speak. Uh, I am filming this. I am filming this right at the start of New Year's, the new year, uh, 2014, and I just want to say happy holidays and happy New Year to everybody. Uh, in this video, uh, for this particular custom that I put together, I you know I, I had to hold off for some reasons, which I'll get into. Uh, I would have had this video done and ready for Christmas. Um, but I had to hold off because there was a contest. There was a one six figure custom contest for the holiday uh, run on Sideshow. The Sideshow Freaks board, the forums. And um, you had to wait until three days before the deadline to show your custom. Uh, and it had to be something new, you know, something you never showed before. And so since this was holiday themed, this was a perfect custom for me to enter. And I did. And I got really good positive feedback on it, both in my own thread and the, the, the contest thread. Um, I didn't win. Um, but that's cool. It was, you know, some of it was based on, there was a lot of entries, so there was a lot of great people that did some great things. So, uh, no shame in losing at all. And uh, I think some of it was even just left up to chance as well, as far as the order of how people entered. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. It, what matters is that people like what I did, and that's really what it, what counts. Um, and actually, the prize was an Evil Superman 3, which, I, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I already own, so that's cool. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is... Uh, my custom, and like I said, I uh, I had to wait till December 28th to show him, so that's why I didn't do the video earlier. Um, so I figured I'd hold off, and um, this represents the new year and the end of 2013. Uh, what better way to bring in the holiday season but with uh, an evil Santa killer <laughs> um, from Silent Night? Now, when I say Silent Night, I'm not making a mistake. It's not Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, it is Silent Night, which is the remake of Silent Night, Deadly Night. And uh, since I'm going to talk a little bit about that film, since there's not really much here to go to, to really talk about the figure itself, it's pretty cut and dry. Um, you know, he, he has his Santa outfit on, which I dirtied up and weathered a bit. Um, he has a, a flamethrower, which he infamously used in the film. Um, so I had to have him have his flamethrower. He has his, his, uh, his axe, which this type of axe, this, the double-sided, is very hard to find. Um, so I'll, I, I, I might end up repainting it to make it look a little more realistic, but it's actually from the Mezco, um, I think it's like one of those stylized, uh, Jason from Jason part three. And it comes with that figure, you know, the, the figure that the, it's basically top heavy, it comes with a bigger head and then he looks kind of deformed. Um, but it was the only axe of that kind without making one myself that I could find. Um, so I ended up picking that up to use for this custom. So he's got his two main weapons that he used in the film, and in the old series too, he, the old films, he used a double-sided axe like that. I'm not sure if he used the flamethrower in the old ones, I have to look back, I don't really remember. And of course his, in the old film you saw his human face underneath the beard and stuff. Um, in the new version, to make it creepier, they had him wearing like this, uh, you know, one of those transparent like clear uh, masks that you put on. Uh, with the Santa eyebrows, Santa eyebrows on it, and the darkened eyes. So, I actually found uh, one of those type of masks in one six scale on eBay. And when I got him, I put it on over the head sculpt underneath, uh, glued the beard and stuff to it, and then I sculpted the eyebrows that I added to the face and darkened the eyes with paint uh, to give it that look as close as I can get. You know, with making it homemade, uh, and it came out pretty good. And I got some really good feedback on it. Um, he does look creepy, and I think. I think even though maybe some people would think the original Silent Night, Deadly Night was better because a lot of times people always favor the originals. Um, I was very impressed with Silent Night. I don't think it got the credit or the recognition it, it, it was due. Uh, it was a pretty cool film. And I think with this with this type of like translucent or transparent mask that he wore over his face so you couldn't really get a good look at what he actually looks like, um, I think it made for a much creepier looking killer, a much more interesting character. Um, it's not just a guy in a Santa outfit, there's more mystique behind him by not being able to see his face and stuff and seeing this weird, like, 
fake mask that he's wearing underneath the beard and stuff. So I wanted to go with this version because of that. Um, the outfit, believe it or not, it's very hard to find a Santa outfit. So believe it or not, the way I got my hands on the Santa outfit, uh, they're on eBay, and they weren't that expensive. There was Barbie, the Barbie doll line, uh, and Ken and Barbie. They had released at some point uh, I Love Lucy figures uh, from a Christmas special or something. So they have, like, Ricky Ricardo and Lucy uh, and all that in, like, Santa outfits. Don't know or why that was ever done, but... This outfit basically came off the Ricky Ricardo <laughs> Barbie doll. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to be like, man, you spent that much on, a, on a, a vintage item to get this outfit. It's like, well, believe it or not, they weren't expensive at all. Uh, it probably would, it would have been more expensive to get a suit like this made or find it somewhere else. Like maybe off like a sideshow figure or something. And there's not that many of them out there. Um, the outfit is perfect and fits this theme perfectly. Came with the beard, the hat, everything. The only thing I the only thing I changed was obviously I, I have the black gloved hands and the belt. The belt's a little off. It, it's got it's like fatter on the sides and it's like thinner in the center. Um, so if I find a better belt at some point, I might replace the belt. But overall, it it, it works and it it gave me exactly what I needed to finish this custom. Um, so there you have it. Uh, there's my Silent Night. Uh, Figure and like I said, it was the the, the the original movie when it came out in the '80s. They had Silent Night, Silent, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and then they had like a Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two, Part Three, and then eventually they moved away from the Killer Santa and they started doing different stories with Silent Night because there was a high uh, controversy and a lot of protests from the parents that they didn't want Santa to be portrayed uh, in that way. They didn't want kids to get there because in those days VHS was going heavy. You can go to stores and rent VCR tapes and stuff. And I remember seeing all these original movies in the in the in the video stores. And you know, if kids saw this and they you know they're into Santa and stuff, they would get freaked out and just you know it was just it was almost sacred. You know, you don't mess with Santa. You don't you don't make Christmas something evil. Uh, unlike Halloween, which is you know Michael Myers. I mean, that's like Halloween is considered a dark and kind of creepy holiday anyway. So I guess it wasn't as uh, it wasn't considered as taboo as messing with Christmas. So because of that, they eventually gave in and they stopped using the Killer Santa. And they, and the later sequels, I think like Part 4, Part 5, I think they went up to 5 or 6. I don't remember exactly. Um, they actually did like different stories about, about Silent Night. It wasn't even about Christmas or Santa anymore. Uh, but the originals were. So this remake, you know, now we live in a society where <laughs> everything is accepted. So they obviously did the remake and brought the Killer Santa story back. Uh, but like I said, they upgraded and changed his look a bit, and I like it. Um, so I wanted to make one for myself. So there you go. That's my Silent Night. Uh, I actually went went a little longer on it. I just also wanted to mention another quick thing. Um, I have some things up for sale on my sideshow thread. I'm trying to, you know, make up some, you know, get back some of my money. Um, I am selling the Hot Toys Bane that I have made a video for. So if you look at my channel, check out the Bane that I have. Um, that's customized with uh, the pants and the boots that were. Upgraded that was done by uh, Mr. Echo, uh, guy, a member on Sideshow. I think he's on YouTube as well. Uh, and it's really cool custom. So check out my video on Hot Toys Bean and check that out. And if you're interested, uh, you know, shoot me a message or uh, get in touch with me about wanting to buy him. Uh, the prices and everything are on my thread. Um, he is a little higher only because it's aftermarket now for him anyway. So I've seen him go for the price I'm charging anyway, even without the, the add ons. Uh, I have a lot of extras that go with him the, band, the pants, the boots, the the picture of Harvey Dent in 1-6 scale that he holds up, and it's cool. And Mr. Echo really hooked me up at the time, so I'll give you guys everything if you buy him off me. Uh, I'm looking, I, I think I'm, I think uh, it's 400 shipped. Um, that's if you're in the U.S., and that comes with all the original stuff, the shipper, the box, and then the extra stuff. And uh, if you're outside of the U.S. and you're interested, let me know. We'll work out shipping fees and stuff, which would probably be a little higher. Um, and I want to get into this guy here. I never showed him on a video, and I want to talk about him a little bit, too. Uh, I have Hot Toys Bane. I also have the Hot Toys Catwoman up for sale. That's just She just comes as is, pretty much new, with the box and the shipper. I only displayed her for a little bit in a glass case. And uh, there's a video on her, too, so if you look at my channel, um, you can find the video I did on her and my thoughts on her. Um, and I'm selling her for, uh, I don't remember the exact price, but you could, once again, you could contact me or check my my thread on my sales thread on sideshow um but i'm also selling this bad boy and this is the hot toys the original hot toys one six scale ed 209 and this guy is just cool as hell and uh i'm gonna i'm hitting the 10 minute mark here so i'm gonna run out of time so i'll i'll, I'll uh i'll kick it back in and i'll explain a little bit about this figure and why i'm selling him and all that good stuff um just be back in one sec 
Okay, I'm back. I got a fresh 10 minutes uh, to work with here, but I don't need 10 minutes. I probably only need another minute. Um, so anyway, the reason why I'm showing him and not the Bane and Catwoman is because I've already did videos on Bane and Catwoman. They're on video. They're on my channel and separate, you know, separate vids. So you could check it out, and what you see is what you get. But I've never showed him, and I think I was, I think somebody on YouTube requested I shoot, I shoot a video of this guy at the time. I'm. I think it's CW, uh, C A W W E 12W, I think was the guy uh, that wanted me to show it. But in any case, here it is, and I never showed him on film before, which is why I've, I'm featuring him um, as opposed to Bane and Catwoman. Uh, so I got Bane up for sale, I got Catwoman. I also have the Bat Pod that I'm getting rid of because I just I don't have enough space. So if you want the Hot, Hot Toys Bat Pod, I'm also selling him for a pretty reasonable price. I, I, I think it's, I'm also selling that for like 400 chipped. But like I said, contact me and you know we can work something out. Um, and once again, there is a video on that too. If you look up my channel, there's a Batman. I think I I think I did a review on the DX12 Dark Knight Rises Batman and the Bat Pod in the same video. So look that up. But once again, I'm showing this because I never had him on film, so I'm showing him now. So this is the original Hot Toys Ed 209. Now I bought this secondhand from a guy in the UK off eBay. And I got him for a good price, but I am selling him at a loss, and I, I'm going to be very honest. The reason why he's going for less now is because there is a new version of Ed 209 coming out, along with the new Robocop that's coming out from Hot Toys, I think, later this year. Um, and it's going to make, like, sounds and stuff. And it's going to be really cool. And, yes, I have one on pre-order. Um, if I had the space, I would gladly keep this one and the other one and have them bookend each other. Have two. I have no problem with that. But since I don't have space, that's why I'm selling some stuff, um... You know, the 1-6 scale vehicles like the Bat Pod and stuff, it just doesn't fit my collection. So I'm selling that and I'm selling him so I can make space for the new one. Now, you say, well, if a new one's coming out, why buy this one? Well, number one, for the nostalgic people out there or collectors of Hot Toys, if you want your hands on the original, this is the original release. And, it, you know, the, it is cool and, he, and there's nothing wrong with him. Um, I bought him without a box and I got him off the UK and that's how I was able to get him at least cheap enough to afford at the time. Uh, because the aftermarket on this guy is crazy. I mean, it was going anywhere between like, anywhere from like three, four to like six hundred dollars, if not higher. Especially if it was new in the box. Never had the box for him. He doesn't come with any accessories. He comes as is. There was a slight problem with the dome. Um, you see how like it cracked a little bit, and a lot of people were, you know, were kind of like against getting this guy because of these problems. But I got to be honest with you. It doesn't kill the look of him at all, and it's never gotten any worse since I've had him. What I did was, there were some cracks developing down here and a little up here, and I put a little glue in there and just stuck it together, and it's held up fine, and it's never deteriorated. I've had this thing for almost three years now on display, and never, it has never gotten worse than this. And to be honest with you, it's black, and from far away, you can't even, like look from here, you can't even notice that there's anything wrong with it. I'm only charging $250 shipped for this guy. Now, once again, if you're overseas, I'll have to charge more, especially if this guy is big. But if you're in the U.S. and you want him, um, I'm only charging $250, which is a steal for this guy. The size of him, I mean, look at him compared to, like, the figure. Look how big he is, okay? He is truly 1-6 scale. Um, and like I said, I want to make room for the new one. I can't keep both. Look, he's, you can move the flaps here, see? It's pretty cool. And this is the original non-battle damage version. And like I said, uh, it would make a great display. And you can get it for real cheap. You don't feel like the new one is like four hundred plus dollars. I think it's like four hundred fifty dollars. So if you don't want to spend that much, or if you don't want to spend that much on a new one of this guy on eBay, which is going for a lot more, um, this is your chance to have one and pay under three hundred bucks for him, which I think I think it's a good deal. And like I said, if I was on the market for one and I didn't care whether it was the original or new one, I would grab this for two fifty. But since I already own him and I have the new one on the way. You know, I have to make a decision. So, um, the new one makes sounds and stuff, I think. But other than that, I think he's going to look pretty similar to this, other than maybe some minor little differences. Um, so, anyway, that's it. That's my rant about my sale. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, hijack my own thread with sale stuff. But since there wasn't really... I didn't want to spend too much time on this guy. Uh, you know, he, he pretty much... I mean, what you see is what you get with him. I wanted to add those other stuff in there. Um, and that's it, man. So, uh, I'm going to have some more vids coming. I got a review. Uh, I got the Tony Stark Mechanic Hot Toys figure I'm going to review. Um, I even started getting into some Godzilla stuff, so I'll show some of that. And uh, Happy New Year, everybody. And we're back for another year, another round. All right. Till next time, peace out, guys.